In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio. To get started, log into Canvas, acu.instructure.com, and then click on your name. On the left, you will see there is an ePortfolios here. Click on that. You see that I have already created an ePortfolio, but I can create additional ones for different purposes. You can do the same. So I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call it, and then I have to make it a public. So once you have done this, name and make it public, click on Make ePortfolio. So now you see on the left of your portfolio, you have sections, something called section, which are like pages. You can add sections. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Click on Organize Sections, Add Section. I'll just I add one for a resume and add another one for um, courses. And I can add other ones. Community work. Now I'm going to show you how to edit these sections or pages. For instance, I will start with resume. Uh, to edit this page, click on edit this page icon here and you are prompted to change the name uh, to resume. On the right you see uh, a number of uh, content types that you can add. I'm going to explain them one by one. Let's start with rich text content here. Click on that. This will add an uh, editor box for you to paste your content in or for you to type in directly. Um, I already have something on my computer, so I'm going to just copy that. So it's a, a bio. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste it here. See, if I uh, save this page now, you will see this text has been added to this page. If I continue to add other content, I can uh, on the same page. If I uh, want to do that, I edit this page. Um, n now you can add HTML embedded content on this page. Let's click on that and see what that does. So basically, it uh, is asking you to paste the HTML code into this uh, box below. HTML codes are usually from uh, places like YouTube or Vimeo or other media uh, sharing sites. So I'm going to go to uh, a video here. Uh, you see this is an introduction video. I'm going to click on Share, uh, and then Embed. And then I'm going to select everything and copy it. So you don't have to know much about HTML. Just copy it. And then go back to this page. And then you paste it here. And then you save this page. See, now you have uh, some text and a video here. So let's continue to edit this page by clicking on Edit This Page. Uh, I, now I can add some course admissions, but I would reserve that for the coursework uh, s section. You don't have to put everything on the same page. But what if I want to add a um, bio that is uh, downloadable? Uh, I can do that. Click on Image, File, Upload. Then I'm going to choose my file. Then I click on this. And then open this. And then I have to select and upload this file. Now it's been uploaded. So basically now you have some text, uh, video, and some downloadable file. So I'm going to save this. See, this is what the page looks like right now. If you're not happy with it, for instance, if you do not want this one to be appearing here, you can always go back to edit this page and then change the position of this or just get rid of certain things. For instance, I do not want uh, this uh, file anymore. I can just uh, click on this uh, recycle bin to delete it. Or I can move it to another location by just simply drag it to the end of uh, the text. Release it. Now the video will appear last. If I want the video to appear first, then I drag it to the top. So now I'm going to save this page. Although you have uh, videos, uh, text, 
an attachment on this page, um, you do not always have to have all of these elements on the same page. Now I'm going to show you how to add some coursework to your ePortfolio. This is one of the benefits of using uh, Canvas ePortfolio because it allows you to add the work that you submitted to Canvas courses to your portfolio directly. So to do that, let me click on courses, one of the sections that I added earlier. And I'm going to edit this page. Well, first of all, I call it courses, change the title. And then on the right, you will see I can choose uh, any of the four options. But on this particular page, I'm going to choose course submission. Once I click on that, it will show all the work that I have submitted as a student to any of the courses that I have taken. Um, for instance, I want to add this paper um, to this page. To do that, click on it and then select Submission. Now this uh, paper has been added and I'm going to save this page. So right now I can uh, see my paper now or I can download it. Now you have built your uh, e-portfolio. How do you share this with people? Uh, to share this with people, first of all, to make sure it is public. Uh, if you haven't changed to private, then it's probably still public. And then go to Home and copy the URL. You can email this URL to people, or you can just uh, submit it to your course uh, via assignment tool. Let me show you an example of that. For instance, your professor may have uh, an assignment for you to submit your, uh, your URL. So click on that, and you submit it, and you paste the URL here, and then you submit it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to share with you is to change the setting of your ePortfolio. For instance, at some point, you do not need to share this portfolio anymore to anybody. Uh, or when you are trying to uh, build it without having to share this with anybody uh, yet, then click on ePortfolio settings and uncheck make it public and then update it. That will make your uh, ePortfolio private. That's all I want to share with you today about uh, ePortfolios. Thank you very much for watching. For more tutorials, please go to uh, Adam Center blog at blogs.acu.edu slash Adam Center. Thank you very much.